Well, let's look around. Yeah, frame rate is stable, so it really was just the tutorial fight. Let's just loot everything. Hello, person, blue person. Hope the rest oh. of those sodden bastards made it. Oh, that's voice acted. That's voice acted? Really now? Also, neat thing in this game, you can actually set the auto loot radius. Which is actually really cool. It means if I loot one container. Do we have a mini map? Having a mini map would be lovely in this game, but it doesn't look like we got one. I can zoom out pretty far, though, which is very much appreciated. Uh, is that you? These guys? Uh, Eld Engram appears to be in sound condition, though his wax jacket is soaked through. He appraises you with a bleary with bleary eyed amuse amusement. You woke just in time for the fun. Fighting off motherless raiders one moment, flung into the freezing depths of Andra's bosom the next. So Andra, goddess of the oceans, forgotten things, loss, relentlessness, and mourning, said to have once fallen in love with the moon, and to have tried to draw it near with catastrophic consequences. People bring tokens to her temples of things they wish to forget, and her clergy sees the sees the tokens cast into the sea. Egrim's eye twitches as he flashes a smile notable for its extraordinary absence of teeth. In the future, I'm going to do the uh, the narration, then the uh, lore details. Anyway. Hi. Magran learns us poor bastards that a little excitement's good for the heart. The last Marganite to travel with me almost went mad because of his goddess's trials. Hi. But almost mad ain't fully mad. Ah, old Durance. The goddess shan't forge another like him in our lives, Captain. Can we go back on the ship now? Uh, let's see. Vela rocks back on the heels of her feet, watching you both. Vela, don't let Engram be a bad influence while I'm gone. That's unkind. You're the one decided to pluck this wean from the wilds of Air Glanforth. Blame that stone steward of yours for bringing the furry maid along. So, Air Glanfath, a territory comprised of the forest southeast of Bale River, populated indigenously by a group of loosely affiliated tribes, collectively known as Glanfathans, and governed by a council of its six most powerful tribes. Air Glanfath is home to a large number of ruined and Gwithan tribe sites, which Glanfathans hold sacred. The runes have been at the center of a number of large scale conflicts with. Dear wooden colonists, whose settlements often encroach on Glenfathen territory, and who frequently seek to plunder the ruins of the relics. Uncle Engram, you promised me ale. Later, sweetie. Uncle Engram's thirsty too. He absentmindedly taps on his chest, near his heart, sounding the thunk of something metal beneath the priest's jacket. The dude is just raising a drunk child. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it seems like there's a lot of plot details from the previous Maybe game. Maybe time to wrangle a boar. Or the weakness of hunger sets in. Boars are mean. I made, but I'm hungrier than they are mean. So like, she, for Mind example... Mind the boars, Watcher. I can't hold them back. Okay, so we've got a sea cave. Uh, she specifically was... Presumably something that happened uh, in the in the previous game, like you rescued her or whatever. I don't remember. Uh, that is one of the options, but it probably was. Uh, so playing the previous one would have been nice, but it doesn't seem like it's that important. Just, it would be nice for the background. Oh, well. Oh, that's your adopted daughter. I'm here. Whoops. It is good to see you well, Washer. I believe the boars were hoping for easy meat. Chittipek greets you with a relieved nod and checks the pistol at his the hip. The bosun, Beodil, is in that cave over there. Ran in after a boar. Stubborn old dwarf. I'll look for Beodil. I will make for the campfire. I must get this pistol cleaned if it's going to be of any use. Be careful in there, Captain. So he's the dude we rescued. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, but... Of course. Obvi loot can be replaced. People's l people are a little harder in games. That's, like, always, always the, uh, the thing I go with. Uh, especially with games like this, where the gear treadmill is real. 
Though obviously starting resources are nice. Okay, so we do have stealth as an option. Left alt, right alt. Part of valor. Okay. Let's see, enter an exit I guess we're stealth. Not the first to head this way. Selecting characters, quest journal. Yeah, I kind of know all of those things. I'll take care of this. Okay, so it does look like ingredients. Uh, enchant unique weapons, armor, and shields. Just craft food, scrolls, potions, and other items. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, let's just wander around for a while. I'll handle this. I wonder if we have a... You know, I'm going to check under controls. Do we have highlight interactables? Tab. Perfect. It used to be alt in previous games, but... I guess... It's tab in this one. I think it might have been tab in Tyranny as well. I don't exactly remember. That might be one oh, that I go back to fuck. finish at some point. Okay. So... Stealth detection. Okay. So we've paused. I'm going to start moving him in. And you... We've got minor meteors to cast. There we go. Game paused. Not really a big deal. You run away. What is it doing? I don't know what it's doing. Okay. I don't know how the HP system works in this game. The previous game had like a weird, um, weird like wound system that was kind of hard to work with. And I'm not so sure about this one. Okay, well, whatever. Got minor meteors. And what does he have? Knockdown discipline. Interesting. Knock to eater. Well, can't do that here. Second wind. Double their efforts. Surge of health. Okay, recovers health equal to their athletic skill. Well, let's go knock this guy down. Well, looks like yeah. this is going to be a little easier than I thought it was going to be. It'll probably get harder as we go along. Let's see. I'm actually... One thing I'm going to do... Graphics. Let's turn up the gamma just by a little bit. Let's do 1.2. Wait. Oh, that seems to have done very little. I apologize. This is probably going to get a little dark. I should probably use stealth, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Does that... Oh, I see. We auto-cast... Hey. We auto-cast this spell. Bad. Hey, and thank you, Odenhagen, for the uh, for the sub. Whoops, that's that's not the right. There we go. Okay, so what do you got around here? A lot of random crap. Any of it good? Flit locks, flit ah, flint locks and bones. Now, hopefully, I can get a thief character soon. I'm really garbage at. Uh, I'm. I. Sh if I if it weren't for my insistence on being a fire mage. I would have actually considered going like a Fire Mage Rogue or whatever, just for the thievery skills. Okay, we have something over here, so I should probably check that out as we go along. Jesus, this really is like a stupidly dark cave. I'll take it. What is, what is this? Small forms dart swiftly between, uh, uh, between the coral below. Okay, abilities. I already know how to do that. Get out of here. We're gonna sneak up, knock him down. And missiles. Hey. Uh, let's see. I don't even know if I have a hotkey for. Oh, it's just dead. Hey. Of course. Well, that that makes life easier. <laughs> Got to remember to keep uh looking for interacti interactables. No. What kind of what kind of bizarro cave is this though? I've got to, I've got to question that a little bit. <laughs> Because, like, we came in here after boars, and we're finding... Zombies? We're finding... a lot of zombies. I mean, the bat makes sense, but the zombies? Okay. I mean... Or, not zombies, the skeletons. I guess, honestly, it's, it's fantasy, so who cares? Oh, what is this? Well, we've got more cave. Underwater passage. Let's keep checking the rest of the area first. Yeah, I'm so glad they put in the voice acting for this game, by the way. It is so much easier for me to play this. Oh, hey, found the guy. Pirates. Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. 
Feodal. Still alive and calling everybody Scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. Adair! And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to see the two of you, but mind your step. I've got myself in a spot of trouble. Been trying to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. Set off the traps prematurely with a few heavy stones. You wreak havoc, havoc upon the traps, to the tune of snapping metal teeth and clattering darts. When the gehophony is ended, Bedel peers out from between his fingers and gives you a broad grin. Clever, that. No, oh, it's a good thing none of them were of the exploding variety. Eld Ingram would have gotten a kick out of that, I bet. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? We've... Oh, he gingerly sets his weight on his injured foot, grimacing. We've got a campfire going on the beach. And I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. Okay. But we're not going back yet because we've got some loot. What is this? A barrel. Whammo! Suck it, barrel! What did it have? Water in it. Okay. That looks like something. Okay, traps. View. Traps and other hidden items can be discovered while exploring. A character's ability to discover items is tied to their perception and their ability to disarm a detected trap is based on their mechanic skill. Any character, including enemies, can trigger a trap. Once activated, traps cause injuries to any characters hit by them. And bestiary. So, it in... Interesting. So, defeating them I'm here. gets us things. I'll I guess let's just quick save and see if I can disable it. I'll take care of this. Hey. Can I keep trying? Uh, that order's too tall. Sadly, I can. I'll handle this. I'm afraid not. Okay. I'm just gonna max out the gamma in here. It does nothing. I'm here. Hmm. Do we do it anyway? Rest or wait? Main problem is I don't know how, I, how injuries mm -hmm. work. Well, considering my character... Indeed. I feel dreadful. Okay, interrupt. Got that. Health. Lingering frailty. So that's kind of how this system works. Let's see if I can... Figure out what, what lingering frailty does, injuries, whatever. Because I'm kind of interested about this. Summary, fortitude. Doesn't say anything specifically. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we just have lingering frailty, whatever. Hopefully that's we get nice. like a... You know what? Let's just go back. Uh, oh, I think Gamma's making it darker. Oh, it's under current effects. Well, seeing as we've got two traps and nobody to d disarm them, let's go graphics. Oh yeah, you're right. It's 0.7. There we go. All right. I was wondering why it, it didn't do anything. It's because it was going the wrong direction. Yeah, let's keep going until we find a, uh, oh, a thief type fuck. character. What is this? A rusted copper construct. Yes? Nope, wrong one. Uh. Yes? Let's see. Two, no more sneak. Still on track. There we go. Did not knock it down. Yes? Run away. There we go. Okay, what do we have? Not much of anything. Oh, no uses left. I ran out of spells for the day. I didn't even realize I had spells for the day. Well, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll try resting. I mean, honestly, just attacking seems fine. Yeah, and Tyranny, I don't remember you being limited in, uh, in terms of how many spells you could cast. It was just a cooldown system. 
That's okay. Missed. Just knock it down or something. Unfortunately, this this sucker just doesn't want to die. Kind of makes sense. Uh, I mean, luckily, Eater has his own like self heal, so it's just kind of a matter of waiting. Okay. What's a metal killing machine doing out here by himself in a cave? Anyway, collecting his thoughts. Let's try resting. Remove injuries or receive bonuses. Let's just rest or wait. Ship crew morale minus one. Maybe not do that. Let's do hagfish. Now, does that get him his spells back? Because now that I know about that, I'm going to have to hold it. So I get two. Two out of two level spells. I'd yes, swear I used more spells than that. Or maybe it's spells per fight. I'll take care. A dozen paintings, mildewed and worthless, line the wall against broken bottles and rotting wood. That art looks. Well, that's gonna be hard to clean. So yeah, it might just be a spells per fight kind of situation. Yeah, they come back every battle. Well, lost a hagfish, but whatever. We lost it in favor of learning. I, I'm so used to Dungeons and Dragons style of like spells per day systems, so I just assumed it was similar. I'll take care. So a dozen paintings will be worthless. I think I already read that. And or it doesn't matter that much. So I have fast mode active. I'll just leave that on. Ooh, I gotta speed up the camera panning. Hot dang. Alright, uh, it's under controls, yeah? New game? Probably game. Scroll speed. Crank that up to like times three? Possibly higher. That's better. I might I might just put it at uh times four or times five. But we've got the underwater passage that I might be able to do. That's how it was in the first game. I didn't play as a uh, spellcaster in the first game, so I don't really remember it. The water... The waters here glow in eerie blue, and the cave glistens with reflected light. You can just make out an opening in the cavern wall to the northwest, where the water flows onward. The tunnel seems to extend a short distance before turning sharply, but you cannot see where it leaves. leads. Let's quick save. Then let's try again. Then someone has got ahead. Choose a party member. Adair. Success. Adair sets out at a good pace, cutting through the water with confident strokes. Nearly to the far side of the tunnel, Adair finds a space to come up for air. With a place to rest along the way, the swim should be more manageable. Swim through. Air pockets provide a much needed reprieve as you make your way through the cramped waterway. You make short work of the journey. You come up. You come up into what appears to be another smaller cavern, where sunlight streams in from an opening in the stone. Okay, so what do we got? Ink Harp and Valario's Rest, probably? Okay. Told him not to bring that thing in there. Didn't like the look of it one bit, but no, no one dance speak poor of his precious animancy tech. The ghostly figure paces the length of the small outcropping with quick, deliberate steps, muttering to herself all the while. Her long cape flaps with a wind that blows from the in-between. Animancy, the science of soul manipulation, a field both controversial and relatively new, banned in some nations like Adair, but permitted in other countries like Deerwood and the Valian Republics. Special gift from his contact, he says. Now it's acting all weird. Gives me the damn creeps. You feel it too, right? Like it's looking straight through you? She turns piercing purple eyes on you. She shakes her head and resumes her pacing. Came out here to get away. Couldn't stand it staring at me anymore. Then... Then... Oh, my memory's fuzzy. Anyway, you want a bend with? I haven't seen you fool, but he's been bringing all sort of new folks on lately. Can't hardly keep track. That sneering little jerk with designs on my ship? Ha! No. I'll say that's a damn shame, but you seem to be getting along well enough on your own. 
Vanny's crew, I swear, we get up to some right nonsense. Most fun I've ever had on a boat. Except for all the hangovers. You ever been hung over at sea? I don't recommend it, no, sir. Look, maybe we should stick together. Feels right, you know? What with you being the only other thing around and all. I can give you a hand with, uh, spirity stuff. No kidding. I've always wanted a ghost friend. And I've always wanted to be a ghost. Look at us, all in accords. We like two peas. I just hope you know where you're going, because I ain't got half a clue. The spirit tries to give you a friendly pat on the shoulder, but her hand passes right through you. Unperturbed, she grins and walks along right behind you. Still seeing ghosts, huh? I suppose you're stuck with that. I got a ghost friend! Yeah! Alright, and we get some more stuff. Do we have anything else in this mix? A fall brawny stench rises from the sodden crates, their contents rotten. Well, I got a ghost friend! I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Alright, well I gotta swim back. Looks like it... okay. Uh, the pool is still and quiet, having made the archer swim once already. You're fairly confident you can find your way back. Swim through... Let's see, you should turn on disposition. Yeah, I think I turned it off for the other one. Uh, it's probably under inter interface? No. Difficulty. Show personality and reputation. That's probably it. Doesn't look like I can change that later. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I turned it off for tyranny, but honestly, I, I enjoy being able to kind of game the si system a little bit. Font ligatures. What is a font ligature? I saw that option, but I have no idea what they are. Uh, is that... It's not under graphics. Game? Discretionary ligatures will be used in appropriate characters in text. Sure, we'll leave it on. We also have big head mode. I'm going to turn that on for a second. <laughs> I look real dumb. Let's turn them off. I might turn them on here and there. Oh, also turn on auto level companions. Uh, turn on or off? Turn off, yeah. Let's see. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back to that. Anything else? I'm unqualified interactions. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this on just in case. Okay, Looks so like what do we? Do we? Suey, Piggy, Piggy, eat spell. Okay, let's see if we can knock down Piggy. I'm a ruby. Yes. Well, the answer is no. How about fire? Oh, can I set my own allies on fire? Word this is an important thing to test. Hey, watch it with that. The answer is a very solid yes. Okay. Yes. So note to self, can okay. kill friends. Can kill friends real easy. Indeed. I did a lot of damage, a lot more damage with that than I thought I was going to do. Well then. Alright, let's just Help, grab everything. Somebody. Oh, hi. The Defiant is looking far worse for wear after its unexpected landfall. The hull has splintered. Oh, those are the ligatures. Sure, we'll leave them on. Has splintered in several places along the keel, while tattered sails stand as evidence of your battle with pirates. Oh, it's gonna mess with my uh, ability to read things, though. Oh well. The deck of the Defiant is well out of reach from here. The ship groans like a beached whale each time the waves roll in, but it doesn't seem to be listing further. You may be able to climb up. Rope and grappling hook. Use your grappling hook. One good throw, and the hook sails up and over the rail, catching firmly. A few good tugs suggest the grappling hook should hold fast. Climb up. The rope makes the ascent considerably easier, and you find yourself climbing over the rail. Hello? You're looking better, Casita. That, or I'm worse off than I thought. <laughs> the sheen of sweat on her brow and the wane cast to her features belies Arena's casual greeting. Casita, a valiant term for captain. It's my leg, Matico. It hurts even worse than it looks. Arena's leg bears a bloody gouge along 
the length of her shin, and the swelling around her knees suggests a nasty break. Hang on, I'll carry you back down. Or er, let's let's start with talking first. What happened? I was a stubborn Postenaga. I was trying to fasten this mess down when we struck shore. Barrel rolled right over my leg. <laughs> Postenaga. Postenaga. Literally the Valian term for carrot, but com conversationally meaning idiot. Everything we've been through and I'm nearly done in by a cask of rum. <laughs> Have you seen anyone else? Funny thing, it's hard to see much from the underside of a barrel. Well, carry it back down. Quite romantic, Casita. I'll try not to hold it against you if you drop me. Okay, so the lighter parts I'll of the AOE some water. Quote, hurts. We'll have a spy allies. at that leg of yours. Should have seen me with that barrel, Engrim. I showed it was boss. Hmm. Magrin gives some of us simpler trials than others. Okay, back to okay. looting things. Farewell! There was loot on this beach. I'll take care of it. Okay. Was there anything else up here? Okay. Climb up. Because, yeah, we never finished looting this. Or did we? Nope. We... It doesn't look like there's anything left here to loot. So that's... It's really just to go rescue her. That's it. Climb down. I'll take care of it. Grab the papers? I'm not entirely I'll sure. And then we should probably level up and grab some other things. I wonder if the uh, supplies ever respawn. Probably not. But they might. nothing for miles another dead sailor we had another one wandering around here somewhere you hey fancy seeing you here the spirit's voice warps and shifts muted as if by a great distance even so he grins brightly at you I can't see much of anything really apart from you just endless gray what happened so clever or cruel Shoo, go toward the light and all that. No, I'm afraid you didn't make it. It's weird. I thought death would be different. Big light and so on. But I don't see anything at all. Just you. Bareth charged me with guiding souls to the afterlife, so I suppose you're my responsibility now. Oh. Suppose that sounds nice enough. I'll follow you then, shall I? Come along then. The spirit falls into step behind you, radiating cheer. Got another ghost buddy! Yes! Okay, let's level up. Okay, so I can put points into everything. Explosives, passive skill. Oi! We got some options here. So, Arcana. Increase power level of scrolls, athletics, explosives. So, party assist. This is important. So, sleight of hand, mechanics. You know, honestly, if I actually just start putting points into mechanics, that might not be a bad idea. Because this way I can maybe get rid of traps. I don't care too much about sleight of hand or stealth, but having, having my player character always being able to disable traps seems like a good idea. Other than that, we've got, like, History, Insight, Intimidate, Metaphysics. Religion, street, Streetwise, and Survival. I mean, I should probably go, like, Diplomacy. Does it say? No. So let's do Diplomacy and Mechanics. Because I'll need those. Okay. And choose an ability. Well, Passive Ability. An additional weapon set. Not really helpful for me. Let's see, we have enchanting. Parasitic staff. Heals health. Ghost blades. Hobbling enemies. Slicken. I wonder if you can set the slicken on fire. Wizard's double. 
I believe we have the minor meteors. Maybe not? What's the difference between one versus the other? Well, I like the minor missiles anyway, so I'll pick that up for a start. Okay, and that looks like that's the only thing I can do. Okay, and a deer. So, probably just athletics on him. Intimidate, streetwise, and survival. Probably streetwise for now. I'm not sure which are immediately the most helpful. Okay, so we have... Monastic unarm training, not so helpful. Fast runner. And extra weapon slot. I want to get more of the rapid recovery. But that'll be later. What's this? Be aware... Let's go fast runner for now. Because he needs to clear distance while my other, while my uh, ranged characters, which will pretty much be everybody else, yes. uh, oh. do the opening salvo. Okay, so hopefully with that level of mechanics, I can go, um, I can go pop open those traps. And if not, then we'll come back again at a later date. Because, yeah, this will make it so I don't need another thief. I can just rely on my character. I'll take care of it. There we go. Take a gander over there. I'll handle it. Alright. I'm not actually sure if that was helpful. I'll take care of it. But I'll go with it. And there was nothing there anyway. Alright. Well, unless I'm mistaken, there's nothing left in here. Apart from the abandoned hi hideout. But we checked that out. Alright. Let's go back to Velario's rest. Yeah, as far as CRPGs this uh, go, this is good. I think I will always prefer the combat system from uh, Divinity. But that's about it. Okay, so the one other thing I want to check was inventory. We have a whole bunch of stuff that's new, and I should probably pay attention to what it does. Ring. It's a good ring. All right, uh, let's get out of here. Actually, that might have been helpful. Sort by equipment. So, my current is just male armor. What else do we have? Simple clothing, because we're not going to be in combat, ideally. I don't want to be rolling those. Get a hat. Oh, no. I can't wear hats. Funny. I can make him look like a goof. Alright, what else do we have? Weapons. So he he has a saber and a medium shield. Well, we've got a bunch of medium shields and sabers. Warhammer. Nope, Warhammer is worse. We also have pistols, wands. Wands are one-handed, by the way. So if my character wanted to do the tower shield combo, is it worth it? Reduces accuracy, though. Nah, I'll probably just keep with the rod for the time being. Oh. The sword might be better than his saber. No. It's not. Never mind, then. Well, I guess we have nothing to nothing to worry about or think about or anything. Alright, let's talk to the characters. On the beach, if I can. I suppose we are lucky to have found land. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything about this place? We got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. What do we do for now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. Farewell. Okay, other person. Theodol said you had to bail him out of trouble. Diverus? Was he crying? You can tell me. Oh, quiet. You were under a damned barrel. Okay, well, it looks like they have nothing immediately helpful to say, so I guess we just leave. I, I guess that works. I, I thought we'd, like, sit down for a game plan or a something, but nope, just see ya.
Well, I mean, I guess in that case, uh, what do we got? World map. Well, I wanted to check this for a second. Let's see, you can double click to automatically equip. There we go. So, clicking on the world map will have your party navigate to the selected location. Toggle on and off the camera automatically following the party. Okay. Oh, so we're like walking around. Known locations. Port Mage. All the way up there. Well, we wanna... We wanna explore. Let's check this out, whatever this is. Oh. Got me cannon shot. That's interesting. So some of these are not exp exploration areas. We've got Illinit's Fork. Okay, so we have supply food. Zero per day, so we don't have to worry about that now. Per day, per day, per day, per day. No injured crew. Interesting. So the whole ship business is much more of a... Um... Is much more of a... A thing than I thought it was going to be. I guess I'm just going to wander around for a bit and see what I got. Burial site. Quana tribes traditionally heap their dead onto pyres or give their bodies to the deep sea, but mounds like these suggest that rangas of honor, wealth, and distinction were buried nearby. Search the location. Jars have passed. You find a wardstone nestled among the offerings. You've gained an item, sig Sigil of Darkness Wardstone. Was put into your stash. Keep searching. We found a scroll of withdraw. Keep searching. And find nothing of value. There's nothing left but the dead. Well, considering... So time matters as well. That's good to know. Some fresh fr fruit. So, I guess let's check out the fork. In the distance, you see a simple wagon. The angle which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggests that it's been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out Kith milling around it. Approach openly. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Ridsaren pilgrims in rough spun linens and cottons. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently, as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel, which seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. One of the pilgrims notice you, notices you. Her s step back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well-worn in a well-worn gambeson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. That the dreams bring you here as well. The other pilgrims look at you with a mix of apprehension and hope. Dreams? We were farmers, come from Red Saras to work the colony fields there. We we're believers. All to the one, in the light of Aethus. The pilgrims nod fervently in agreement. A woman with a smiling baby lifts the infant's hand to wave. Ah, gotta turn on the light. It's getting dark and I'm getting sleepy. We've been having dreams. Three stars sailing around the sky, piercing the black of a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Aethus, calling to us. So we came here, to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass, with the three stars on his brow, but... He sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say, we could not follow him. Let's see, the wheel's stuck as it gets. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than one of us tries, and we just get in each other's way. The other pilgrims nod and stretch, suddenly remembering their aching bodies. Inspect the wagon. Let me take a look. A brief inspection reveals the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon. Can't get the wheel up, we can slide that beneath it. Inside the wagon you see several planks of wood, a small box of valuables sits to the side. One of the younger Dawn Stars looks to you, eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? Try to lift it. Choose me. I am strong. You square yourself to the wagon's corner, squat deep, and rest the wheel from the mud with a grunt. A young Dawn Star shock stands in shock for a moment, but reacts in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down the safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. You and the Dawn Stars, you've roped into your work, glisten with sweat. 
but they laugh happily, singing songs of praise for Aethys. Children of the Dawnstar's mind are positive. Not to be confused with supernatural manifestations of Aethys, Children of the Dawnstar's are Red Saren followers of Aethys, who have traveled to the Deadfire Archipelago as migrant workers in the decades following the Saints' War. Lacking colonies of their own, Dawnstar's can often be found in the employ of the Valian Trading Company or Royal Deadfire Company. Two hours passed. Smiling, the leader presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. We appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. They begin to prepare their wagons as you take your leave. We've gotten 15 silver fennings. The old man calls to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul, traveler. Whether you came from Aethys or not, for Aethys or not, we know in our hearts that he has come for us. Well, we've got a boho Waro Woods. We've got a lot around here. Solitary rice farm that looks bountiful enough to welcome trade. Okay, so we can buy some rice, tarloaf, rice wine. Retrain character. Interesting. Wakura Pass. We've got that. Well, we've got some battle zones. Can I... I think... Okay, I've quick saved. Let's try Wakura Pass. The trail before you seems thoroughly disturbed by erratic tracks. The sparse plants to the immediate sides of the path roughly mangled. A struggle may have occurred here. Search the area. Adair makes sense of the chaos within moments. No blood spatter suggests it was not a fight. And your compatriot easily identifies the Claude Prince of Zarebs. The tracks seem recent. A dry and ropey vine has been pulled taut across the path and inexpertly covered in dirt. Beyond, a group of robed figures cringe and cower at a nearby river's bend. Each is frozen in place, ashen and gray like statues covered in soot. Storm the trap. Failure. Though the trap seems simple, your hand slips as you attempt to disarm it. With a sharp crack, a puff of green gas bursts in the air, several feet ahead of you. It begins to harmlessly disperse. The patter of footfalls to either side demand your attention as Zarops appear. There are simple spears held at the ready. The foremost reptilian wi wilder? wilder, a dull-scaled creature with yellow eyes, howls angrily at you, gesturing at the trap. The others hiss, revealing jagged, mismatched teeth. The Zarops charge. Okay. What do I got? I have Empower. That's interesting. It's also interesting. Holy shit. I got wrecked. Take that. Okay, can I load the auto save before I came in uh came in here? I'm gonna save scum a bunch in this game, fair warning. Um Just because this is not going to be easy otherwise. Okay. I'm probably going to get hit here, but I can at least wreck them somewhat. That didn't work. None of this works. Well, he'll live. The main problem is my, ma my main character has Stay gotten alive. utterly smoked. Because they, they all charged my main character instead. Well, alright, whatever. I think injuries just reduce... No, I'll have to figure out what it does. Apparently it's on the status screen and I just totally missed it. 
Does the spirally one do do something? It empowers a character, so it gives him a, an encounter ability back. Keeping an eye out. What do you need? Uh. Hello. Oh. That's what happened. Well, do we have anything here? Usually there isn't anything to loot on battle zones, but I'll look. Let's see, how did Wander die? They mobbed me and beat the shit out of me. My character is not durable. Uh, and clearly I should adjust for that. Okay. Yes. So for starters... Put the armor back on him. Eventually I'll find better armor, but right now... Right now we need the defense, because otherwise even just basic enemies like that are going to destroy him. Ah, uh, let's see, how do we check status? Character. Current effects. Gaping wound. Reduce healing received, reduce max health. Alright, well I'll live with that for now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, especially early on, wizards always tend to get, like, just crushed by enemies. They just don't have HP. Well, let's try another one. Okay. Thick woodlands spread to the rest, to the east of Port Maje, slowing your travel. Birds flutter above you and insects drone incessantly. The path eventually gives way to a game trail, then no path at all. You find a curiously marked tree, the bark gouged away in a pattern. The striations seem to run upward, from right to left, just shy of vertical. Examine the markings. Adair examines the gashes in the wood, then plucks a tuft of hair from either side of the tree. Wild Boar did this. Adair taps the tree. Look at this. A sigil has been lightly carved into the wood, so faint as it's almost imperceptible. Continue cautiously forward. You press carefully into the forest. Your clothes damp with the humidity and water dripping from the trees above. A quiet rustling of the underbrush draws your attention northward, deeper into the forest. Call out. Hello? Someone there? Neither of my characters are sneaky, so... The sound approaches, and a tall Alma appears through the vegetation. Matted hair frames his head, and will boarhide drapes his form. Or boarhides drape his form. Stranger still, several wild boar attend to him. Their hackles up as they snort at you. Well, we've just got a dude. I should probably maybe invest in some sneaking. Ish. Oh well. Adair perks up at the side of the boars, alternating alternatively or alternately in imitating their grunts and chuckling. Only at length, in what appears to be a heel dragging afterthought, does his attention at last turn to the strange man in their midst. Dirt darkens the folds of the man's skin. His lips curl over jagged teeth. He waves the stick at you. No, never talk. Just go. Leave this forest. Go leave these islands. Go return from where you've been. His... Adiran is halting. The language thick in his mouth. I came here looking for you. The people on the coast said you could help me. They never ask of me. They always know better, they think, than me and this wood. He shakes his head. No, I never believe your foreign lies. I mean you no harm. Can't we just talk? Said as if a word never hurts a person. Shuko, speak quickly then. Your words disturb this place. Look, I just want to pass through this forest. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. I'm gonna try intimidation. If you don't let me, if you don't get out of my way, I'm gonna make you watch while I kill your precious, precious pigs. He straightens slightly, jabbing an extended exten index finger at you. Adair tugs at his beard, a sour look in his face. Oh, he doesn't like animal cruelty. No, I never let you do harm. I go send you to Tongaloa. Okay. Okay, so we are in trouble. I see them. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna run. 
and not be silly. That's a tough boar, but I've got some stuff now. Okay, Visage of Death's Herald. Nope, can't do that. Can I do this? Okay, that won't hit a dare at all. Ah. I see the old druid is kind of a pain in the ass. Well, let's empower self. And burn everything. Adair, real bad time. Never mind. Dunsky, let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, no animal cruelty. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could say to the guy. No, never talk. Just go. Lee okay. said you go. Speak quickly, then. Your words disturb this place. So, what are you doing out here with all, you, all these Learning. boards? The boar teach much about survival, if one listens, if one watches. So sing. So say those who know. Okay. Those who know. Who would that be? This question helps neither of us, I say. It's not been a very productive exchange, has it? What would I need? Religion. So about those boars of yours... What of them, then? Why do these boars... matter so much to you? Then I need a reason. I say I do not. That is plenty reason. I'd like a boar of my own. Don't suppose you've got one to spare? They are not mine to give, nor yours to take. You want a boar, friend. You go make your own. Look, I just want to pass through this forest. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. Let's see, what's this one? Insight. Well, I'm hunting a god. If I fail, your islands will not be spared as wrath. The man frowns, then pulls a leather-wrapped pouch from within his belongings. and shaking, he hands it to you. You've gained an item, Wise Teeth Necklace. The item was put into your stash. Then go, take this. They protect you if you speak true. They tear out your throat if no. Hey, perfect. Okay, so I guess I just had to, had to dialogue right. He was a tough customer. And I'm... Let's see, before I go, I'm gonna turn down the gam... Uh, turn the gamma back to normal. Oh yeah, that looks better. It was really washed out, but that cave was impossible to see in. Uh, let's go back out to the world map. And then let's save. Let's see, can you wear the necklace? I assume you can. And what difficulty am I on? Classic. I don't play on the super hard difficulties because I tend to make bad min-maxing decisions. Okay, so we do have... We do have... Oh! Those are the, his footprints. Oh, duh. I was wondering about the giant feet. and I'm dumb. So we probably want to go to Port Maje before we go too far. Because I think I want some more... Uh, I, I want some more party members and I bet that's where we get one.